Does anybody know what PHP is or what it stands for? I do. Notes. Paper. Philosophical? Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's an abbreviation. I'm so ready for this. Philosophical. Okay. Okay. Isaac, Isaac's Guys. ready for this. All right. It's PHP <laughs> hypertext <laughs> recursive. It's recursive. Hypertext processor. You right. too excited about recursive. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a super recursive. frustrating recursive acronym that has PHP in it as well. <laughs> so, do you guys remember where we saw the word hypertext? Wait, PHP? Isaac, Isaac, I know you're excited, but we also Wait, we saw hypertext yesterday. Yes, what is hypertext? Why does it matter? What is it in this acronym? I don't remember. Okay, it was in HTML. Does it, can anyone tell me what hypertext is? Um. Like? Text with links in it. Yes. So remember when, does anyone remember what HTML stands for? Hyper, hyper, hyper markup language. Yeah, so HTML is a hypertext markup language. Here, hypertext preprocessor means it's generating the HTML for you. Okay? Does that, that make sense to everybody? We'll talk about how it does that and why you care. Um, so it's important for dynamic web pages. So what we've been doing so far is just writing, you know, your biography, you're putting some um, images or something in there and doing some really simple JavaScript, which we told you not to do too much of. Which then brings up the question, how do you display something completely different every time based on some input and write some real code? Because HTML, I'm sorry guys, is not, is not real code. So PHP is used for stuff like, for example, we had an online orders database for ordering chapters. And that's a whole lot of PHP. HTML is just a side note in that case. Um, PHP is not the only language that does this. There's Ruby and all sorts of other stuff there. It's just one of the really major ones and one of the ones that WordPress supports and that we use. And so it operates server side. Can anybody tell me what that means? It's working on the servers and not on your computer? Yes. So our server is what's generating the PHP, well, using PHP to generate the HTML. And so, a little bit of the syntax here. It has kind of this weird tag. Uh, this is just something you'll have to memorize. And so, everything within here is now PHP. And variables are notated with a dollar sign. And methods are the same uh, in that they have the parentheses, what we call parentheses, and there are semicolons at the end of lines. Um, and so, you can have a return method, and I'm setting whatever comes back from the method. To the value of the variable. It's a whole lot of computer science one stuff. I'm sorry if you have taken call that. So then you can do if statements. A whole lot of it looks like a whole lot of other languages. So mainly it's just that dollar sign that you have to be careful for. There are some other little things here and there. So the dollar sign goes where and where? At the beginning of the name of the variable. So you can do dollar sign Emma or dollar sign whatever you feel like. Okay. And then this is another one of the huge differences. So the question comes, so you have all this PHP and it's doing programming things, but how do you actually make HTML? You have a couple things to do with the most basic of it, of which is echo. So you echo HTML. And that's, and so you'll see if something is something, echo this. Otherwise, echo this. And so the syntax of echo is you have something in double quotes inside, and anything within that double quotes is HTML. This is kind of sad, little HTML. But you guys saw that you can write text and it's interpreted just as HTML without tags. Does that all make sense? So yes. what does that actually do? That code would do. Um, this is very much a skeleton, but so say this return method. Uh, so I wrote a really stupid program where if you go to a website, it checks what time it is, and if that time is a multiple of two, it says good morning, and if it's not, it says good night. It's entirely useless, but it would use exactly this structure. So there's the time method, and you check something. If it's something, do this. If it's something else, do something else. Okay. So well, just forms text on the screen. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be text, though. Okay. You could echo tables, you could echo images, you could do whatever you want. Okay. You can echo any kind of HTML. This is just a very generic to show you the basics of what you can do with PHP. Okay. And so you guys were playing with um, viewing image source and stuff like that, especially the guys over here. Um, and so, after you generate the HTML, it's going to show up in that um, source file anyway. So, after you use, after the PHP file is done, after you've written it, you can 
right click and say view source, and then you see everything that was just generated. And so that's how you can go through and debug and see, um, you know, some tag you felt was coming out isn't, or that you missed a double quote here, or something like that. A lot of times these get really big. Um, this is the Sprocket output, um, but you could do Control F to go through looking for what you're trying to output. Does that make sense? So you're gonna have to do it. Last chance. You can ask me questions in the group, or you can all be confused in the moment. Yes. Um, so when we're defining variables, I'm sorry, this is like a side of it, but is it just the dollar sign to define the variable? Uh, yeah, so there are not types of variables. Okay. Um, you, it gets a little more complicated with arrays and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but for basic variables, you don't give it a type. Okay. You just, you just, you just use it. Okay. Or assign them to it here. Does that make sense? Everybody good? Okay, so you're going to do a very basic program. You have your name.php somewhere in your folder. You can just ignore this bar. You guys should already be in the folder. And then just generate a random phrase based on time, random number generator, use the internet, just make a very basic PHP program and prove to me that something different happens every time I reload the page. 